please do. So I always gotta check your boundary before you put stock in there. Here's the uh, new little welder that we bought the other day. Just cleaning all the windows. Well, good morning everyone. What is going on today? Tuesday today and just got a few lambs in here from the uh, the oats down at Logan Park here. There's a few ewes that have crawled onto the crop with them. So we're gonna do a bit of a swap around. We sent, we actually sent a B-double load of lambs uh, yesterday to Tamworth. So we're just doing a bit of a swap around. They were all from home, most of them. So we're gonna take uh, about 120 back and put on the ryegrass at home and then bring, um, bring some lambs back down here that haven't been on crop yet. They've been on sort of good pasture at home, but gonna put them on these oats, this oats down here because there's still plenty down here, so. There'll only be a hundred odd sheep left down here once I take these ones home. So that's what we're doing this morning. But you can see there's some old rogue ewes that have crawled on the oats here. They thought they needed it, but they really don't, as you can tell. <laughs> These are the single lambers, these these girls. Here, Max. Here, Maggie, get over here. Here, Max. Come right over. Here, Max. Here, Maggie. Here, here, Max. Here. Go back. Go back. Go back, Maggie. Come on. Back. Come on, you rogues. Back to your paddock. I suppose I can't blame you for wanting to be on the oats, I guess. But you just don't need it. <laughs> Look at them. They're well and truly fat. So they're probably, what are they? They'd be four weeks off lambing. Start of June. Ah, July. Don't want them too fat. You don't want your singles too fat. Um, otherwise, you can. It's just like you can run into trouble with twins being too skinny or not enough food, you can also run into trouble with uh, singles being too fat. So that's why they certainly don't need to be on here and we don't want them on here. So now I'm just gonna draft off 100 and, uh, 120 or 30 of the best and I'll go home on the ryegrass because they're nearly done. He makes Kimmy. And um, you know, we'd rather put the, the sort of lighter ones down on this oats where there's a bit more feed. He makes Kimmy. And oats is probably better than ryegrass anyway. And, these ones are hopefully going in uh, two weeks, I think. So it just depends. We might just have to start sending some to the yards because we've just got to get rid of them now. It's at that point where it's sort of starting to hurt us. It's going to hurt this year's lamb. You stud culls in here and a bit of a mix. So they're the ones with the, the longer wool. A bit of a dirty bum there. So I'll have to crush them before they go. Speak up. Push them up. Oh yeah, there's a few of the tops drafted off. Just sort of was looking for ones that had a sort of good bit of cover and weren't showing much hip. Not that many of them are, but just the bigger the bigger lambs. Yes, yeah, so, so I think it should be about half of them probably. Or well, there might be there might be a few less left here. So about 119 I drafted off. I'll go back home and load the other ones onto the truck and bring them down here and then take these ones back. I don't know if I said before, so obviously, yeah, I think I did say it, but because there's more feed down here and oats is a bit better than ryegrass, I think. So that's why we're bringing more lambs down here instead of just putting that, putting the ones at home that are already there on the ryegrass. Radio. So I think there, I think there's nearly 300 lambs, or they might be a little bit over in here. So I'll have to do it in a couple of loads, obviously. So I'll just count them all through this gate, and and then I get an exact number, and then I'll just split them in half. Should get them in two loads anyway. So you can see these are just all the later lambs that are born later than the rest of them, and they're just a little bit smaller. Here, Mags, way up, way up. Maggie, go right up. Yeah. Hey, push him up. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Ooh, she had eight mils. 
There you go, I didn't think we had that much. Well, I don't know when that was tipped out. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, fellas. Hey. Sit. Go. Go. There's only a little load. This one there's only about 120 here, so I'll fit on easy enough. I just put two pins up the top there. This truck's actually got to go in for um for rego check tomorrow, so once we're done this, we'll have to clean it up and uh, make sure everything's good to go. No oil leaks or anything underneath, and give it a wash and the grease and things. So. Hey, hasn't had any problems the last few times, so hopefully it's the same this year. Make sure all the lights are working. No, this is a black, black uh, sheet there. That, that's that black wool's coming from the merino side, so merinos uh, throw that every now and then. It's obviously getting less and less common, but it's a bit like the horns in the pole doors, so you never quite get rid of the black out of the merino. You, yeah, just the way it is. So obviously black wool is not as useful because you can't dye it. Um, well, there's white wool you can make any colour you want, I suppose. Push him up. Hey. Come on, fella. Steady. Steady. Carly. Vicious dingo. Won't do that again, will ya? So you can see all the other lands wandering around the boundary. So you always got to check your boundary before you put stock in there because generally the first thing they'll do is just wander around the outskirts and find find out where they are and what they're where they're supposed to be and then then from there they make a decision whether they want to stay there or not i'm sure they'll want to stay on this so oats is pretty good it's pretty it's sort of one of your more winter active because it's an annual too it's a bit more winter active than um like the pastures and stuff so it'll keep growing a bit not rapidly but it'll keep going slowly Especially in the sunshine we've been having, we just haven't had any rain, so it has been a bit dry, which I'm sure has uh, stunted it a little bit. Just let these ones out, these are the ones that are staying down here. Well, I'll tell you what, if we had eight mils of rain this time last year, I certainly wouldn't have been driving on this paddock. I think it would have been driving it on anyway. Totally different to this time last year. Hey, 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 be calling. Here's the second load, last load onto the oats here. Run, fellas, run. Well, there's a few more lambs on crop, which is good. Now I'm gonna go home and uh, take the crate off and clean this truck up a bit try and make it look a bit respectable for tomorrow for this inspection. I think if your truck sort of, if you look after your truck and try to, you know, take it in looking smick and clean, they, um, you know, it just shows them that you care a little bit for it and try to look after it as best you can. But um, yeah, I think they seem to be, I reckon it, they, they are harder on you if your truck's sort of a mess because, you know, that's telling them that you don't look after it and you don't really care about it. So there's probably, there's more, there's more likely to be something wrong with it than if a truck's nice and clean and looks well looked after. 
I'll just go and do that, give the inside a clean too, because they help up in it and everything. And get under it. They, we run it over the pits and they look up underneath and make sure there's no oil leaks or anything major under there. Check all the lights and all that sort of jazz. I jumped up in the truck and look who followed me. You can't come up here, you get wet. Hey, what are you doing? There we go, just about ate dinner off that. <laughs> Maybe not quite. a little bit better. I'll take the crate off or we'll let it dry and then we'll take the crate off and see how it looks and we might have to give it a bit of a pressure wash and we'll let it dry off first and get underneath it and have a bit of a look. Here's the uh, new little welder that we bought the other day. It's a like a three in one. It's a stick, TIG and MIG, MIG welder. We've obviously got these two MIG welders here but we don't have a, um, a good little stick welder. We've got that old one there but it's old and it needs one of these plugs and um, we wanted one that would work on the on our generator, so and this is perfect. It's a 200, so but we're not going to be running it up that high all the time, obviously. But no, it welds well. I went and did a little bit of welding on some yards the other day, and it seemed to go well. I think it's made by the same mob as this one, this Uni Mig, which um, it's a really good welder. Very happy with that one. A bit dusty. I need a closed shed. In my dreams. Oh, and I have. I have actually shown this one on the channel before. It's it is a stick welder, and that's the one I um I used to use, but it's it's a heap of crap, really. It's a, just a cheap little one, and it, yeah, it's no good. <laughs> So you're probably wondering why the mesh isn't on the on the crate. It's just because we never, that stuff's a bit light and we were going to um, make it out of some heavier, thicker sort of rebar, but that was just a temporary thing and <laughs> it's it's been more permanent than temporary so far. We just haven't got around to, around to um, doing it, putting it in the crate yet because sort of want to put it on hinges so you can tie it up out of the road when you're washing it out because it doesn't quite get sort of stuck under there and uh, yeah, you just can't get it as clean as, you'd, as I'd like to, so... That's what we haven't done, why we haven't done that yet. Dad's just giving it a last little wash to the, the rest of the, the rest of the poo and stuff that was still on there. <laughs> Might get a bit of rain. Just cleaning all the windows and uh, filling up things like the window washer fluid. Looks like we might get a bit of a storm. It was just thunder in there a minute ago, which I don't think they were calling for, but we'll take it. Looking pretty grim out there. But anyway guys, I just, um, that's gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just about to head to footy training soon. So I'm just gonna um, go do some invoices and then uh, head over there tonight, which it'll be chilly, no doubt. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. But hopefully next one I'll be feeling a little bit better, but I'll uh, catch the next one. Alrighty, see ya, bye. Are you ready?